Black people spend, on average, $2 billion a year on Air Jordan, $4 billion a year on liquor, $1 billion a year on fast food. You saw what just happened with uh, Popeyes. $40 yes. million dollars in a matter of hours. Yes. Uh, and we weren't even paid for that. Black women spend almost $20 billion a year on hair care and beauty products. But yet, there's not a black community in the United States I can go to where you can show me a black community that has all four of the essential institutions, which are a bank, a school, a supermarket, and a hospital. A bank to invest in the people, a supermarket to feed the people, a school to teach the people, and a hospital to save the people. How does a $2 trillion people, that's what we are, the richest group of Africans in the world, the 10th richest nation on the planet, there's only nine groups of people who bring home more take-home pay than African Americans do, and we don't have an independent community. There's two reasons for that. Number one, slavery destroyed our desire to control our destiny. That's number one. Yes. And after slavery destroyed it, religion came in and glorified the fact that we wanted no control over our destiny by saying you need not worry about building a nation. Just pray and God will take care of it. The problem, the problem with religion is not the religion. It's how Negroes who come in the name of Jesus and Muhammad teach it to politically uneducated black folks. There's nothing wrong with the Bible. There's nothing wrong with the Quran. But there's cowards in charge who don't want to use those books to wake black people up so they'd rather put us to sleep. You see? Every bank that receives at least a quarter of a million dollars a year if a bank has a $250,000 revenue stream, they should have a bank. If a church has that, they should have a bank. If you're a church with at least a quarter of a million, you must have a bank for two reasons. You bring in enough revenue to invest in us to the point where every black person in Pontiac should have their own business. No black woman should ever have to work for a white man in her life when you got black churches bringing that type of money in. You see? But they don't. So because the black church don't have a bank of their own, that means their money goes into a white bank. So on Sunday, you donate to church. They take your money, your black Jesus money, and put it in a white devil's bank. And then the white devil, stay with me, will take black people's Jesus money, and they will give it to other white devils, to come into Pontiac and buy up your neighborhood and push you out with your own money. You see. Okay. He's speaking. He's a freaking tonight, isn't he? I'll end with this. My biggest problem with black religion, I don't care which one you name, okay. they're all dysfunctional. My biggest problem with black religion is they teach us that we have to die to experience heaven. Okay. But the Chinese got his heaven right now. And the Arab got his heaven right now. And the Jew got his heaven right now. And the East Indian got his heaven right now. So why can everybody else have heaven now, but I can only get mine after I die? Oh my God. So for me, I'm gonna get a heaven now. Okay. And I'm gonna get a heaven during my life. And I'm gonna get a heaven for my babies, or I'm gonna die trying. See, okay. the black man and woman have not made up their mind that they don't want to be slaves anymore. Frederick Douglass says something very prophetic. Frederick Douglass said, they didn't free us. Frederick Douglass said, they did not free us. They simply took the collars off and let us loose. I know.